Good morning, goat lovers, and welcome back to Southern Arizona, where we are engulfed in a blanket of fog, which doesn't happen very often, but is very, very cool. It's so foggy, you can barely even see the goats standing on top of their pins over there. Grump Dog will probably disappear in a second. Pretty neat. You know, normally we can see for about a hundred miles here it seems and today you can't see a hundred yards it's pretty pretty neat it's almost impossible to sneak up on the cooney coonies so let's see if we can sneak up on them with all this fog normally they'd already be screaming oh Good morning. Yes. Good morning, big, big, big. Good morning. Good morning. All right, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. That all better, pigs? Everybody's getting along now. This is so cool. Hey, Dane. You like this weather, don't you, big guy? Oh, yeah. Good dog. Good morning, Teavers. Stray barn cat. Other stray barn cat. Good morning, Bucks. Good morning, Legend. Vader. Merle. Champ. The Lucky. The chickens are eating. The ducks are doing their happy dances. Wagging their tails. So with all the rain we got, this little uh, pond is filled up with water. Now we didn't build this pen for the ducks, it was a kid pen for the baby goats. And we wanted something fun for them to do in here. So we, we dug all this out and we piled it up right there. Now the pile has since whittled away to nothing and this needs dug out again. But it gives the, the baby goats something to run around in and they get going and it's pretty neat. And, uh, and it also, when it rains, this fills with water and all these trees have benefited from it. Um, they've all put on a couple of feet since we've dug this hole, which is just great. Shade is precious here. Wouldn't you agree, Dingo? Huh, boy? Would you agree, Dingo? Yeah, yeah. All right, so everybody else is fed and the weathers are already out and I'm gonna let the does out and then walk their fence with them and make sure nothing's touching the wire. Come on, girls. All right, come on, girls. Don't be afraid of the fog. Lodi ain't afraid. Dreamer wants to eat my pants. Morning Vogue. Call me, maybe. Here they all come. Yesterday, you could see mountains everywhere. Today, I can barely see the house. I walk the fence and I just make sure that no grass is touching the wire and nothing knocked the wire down in the middle of the night. Because if uh, too much stuff is touching it, or if the wire's laying on the ground, it's grounded out and loses its, its, its shock, its punch, if you will. Well, they came up pretty far if you can see them in there. There they go. Skittish squads leading half of them. Neat. I was wondering how it would go with the does in this paddock and the weathers are right there. Now their pasture goes the other way, but you know that they can see each other. Are they gonna wanna 
you know, come if those were bucks, they'd come right up through that wire and be over here breeding these does. Of course, these does are already bred, but still, they'd be over here terrorizing everything. See who we got here. Up there is Maybelline, Dreamer, Lodi, Abilene, uh, Cassie, Made It, Lily, Vogue, Loda, 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 Loda. Probably ram somebody here any minute. There's little bit, Elsa, um, Big Sky, May, Grand Champion May. There's our retired doe, Lacey, back there. And a lot of goats. That's Cammie. Um, Maddie. Shilly Shilly. Uh, showing us her neck tattoo there. And then we've got Mayo. And I'm not sure behind her if that's... I'm um, not sure who that is. Whoa Nelly or Ruby or something. And there's Nova and Roxy and the rest of the crazy crew. And of course Don over there in the background with them. Well girls, this is your hay. Stay up here and eat today. Goats really don't like water, so they're you know they it's still wet up here with all this fog, but here in an hour or so it'll the sun will be out and everything will dry up and and they'll be having fun. Ain't that right, girls? What do you think, Lodi? Oh, yep. Made it's not allowed to walk too close to Lodi, and Lodi just wanted her let her know that. Six feet, right, Lodi? Six feet. Silly goes. And so nothing is touching the wire anywhere. So we will go ahead and turn on the old Premier One IntelliShock 120. Make sure that light is blinking. It's blinking. Sometimes it's popping, but not today. And the goats all know that it's on now. You can see the look on their faces. Lily, or Lacey, sorry Lacey. Some sort of disagreement going on there. Oh, there's trouble there. So how Crystal was saying, this is day two of them getting no feed in the morning. So they're all staring at me. When I walk away, they, they will start go browsing. And throughout the day, they'll go up and down, and you know, running and jumping and having a good old time. Are you trying to tell me something, Tifers? Are you trying to say I forgot to give you a bone? Huh? Huh? Here you go, Dana. Good dog. Come here, Dingus. You already got one, Dana. Good boy, Dingo. Good boy, Dingo. Good boy. Go eat yours. Go eat yours. Come here, big guy. Come here, big guy. There you go. There you go. Good boy. We'll see you later, big guy. So I haven't seen Dixie Dog yet today. That's a little weird. Usually she's right at my feet. Dixie dog, what are you doing down there, girl? What are you doing down there, girl? All right, good dog. There you go. There you go. Good morning. Good morning, mama dog. Oh, there's the rat cat. She wants one too. Anna, Anna. Here you go. There you go. Happy dogs. That's what Dixie does with her bones. It's going to roll all over it. Is ridiculous. Ooh. 
What you doing, mama dog? What you doing? Look at that. In the old rain gauge. Let's say that's about three quarters of an inch. <laughs> Three quarters of an inch. Three quarters of an inch is huge considering that I've had an inch and a half of rain here at the ranch since March. So that is just awesome. Now we're two and a quarter for the since March, which is, you know, still six, seven inches under where we should be. I mean, the garden has been living straight off of groundwater basically the whole year. And it's looking a little rough, but it's been getting down below freezing a couple of times and it finally got some rainwater. But we got lots of kale lots of spinach to eat get the the rose of cilantro coming in all nice Ooh, new lettuce heck yeah some radishes some carrots Ooh, more more nice green rows of lettuce more kale coming up garlic is looking good still got herbs no broccoli crowns coming yet but broccoli does great here in the winter. Just great. Out the tree gate. Good morning, Dobby. Big, 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 big. Big, 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 big. Uh-oh, here comes some bully girls. Good morning, Miss Biggie. Oh, you got food all over you. Good morning, Miss Peggy. Yeah, food all over you. That's why you're a pig, huh? Good morning. Hey, Teddy. How you doing? Good morning. Pig, 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 pig. Just a few more days, pigs, and we'll be on that pig pen. And a few days after that, you guys will be moving all the way over there and out of my backyard. So it's been like an hour. The fog is burned off. I went in the house and had some breakfast, um, a nice healthy breakfast, a, a cheeseburger, which is my favorite breakfast. Um, we are headed back down here to pick up where we left off on this fence. Um, I really need to make a, a buttload of progress on it today. That seat belt bell drives me nuts. I need to uh, find a totaled Ford and cut the uh, seat belt clip out of it so you can just stick it in here. There it is again. So you can just stick it in when you're driving around on your land. When, you know, if you're not wearing your seat belt because you're just going five miles an hour on your property. You don't have to listen to that chime all the time. So if you have a if you have a totaled Ford, send me the seatbelt clip. It'd be great. I mentioned having new neighbors, and now like right down here where I'm working, the whole power company's here putting underground pipe, underground cable in.
cleared out. Excuse me, big guy. All the way down this way and all the way back down that way. Now we can get in here and work. My plan last night to keep him in was to put this game cam here because they let out a flash. So all those light bulbs are in there. I put that right there thinking that if he came down and tried to get out, the uh, the flash should hopefully, hopefully let him know that I'm messing with him and he better stay in the yard. We did look at the chip earlier and there's no pictures of him trying to get out, but that would have been funny. So the next step in turning this into this is to collect all of the, uh, the, the fence stays, the yucca and the, the wooden ones that we're gonna, gonna be using. Lead the way, big guy. This is why things take so long around here. Walk behind these slow moving animals. So we're gonna go through all of this stuff that I just cut cut off and uh, piled up. We're gonna go through that stuff and pull out anything we can use for fence stays. And then we'll we'll give some to the goats and I'll probably molt some or just pile it up for a cook fire um, later on. Are you gonna help Dingo? Are you gonna help? No. You're not gonna help at all, are you? No. Dingo. All the girls can see me. And come running back down hoping I'm gonna give them some hay but I'm not We're back to the a la carte girls I just took the mower up the hill I come back down there's a coyote right down there running down the road I've been down here working for three hours and there's been five other guys in the yard next to me here uh, working on the power lines and there goes a the coyote That is infuriating. That's how it is. I mean, you could sit out here armed for ever, not see one. And then out of the blue, one runs by right where you've been all day. <laughs> all right, so again, we're gonna go through all these piles and kind of separate stuff. I want anything that's like five feet or bigger saved for fence days, anything green that's uh, five feet or bigger, you know, solid, you know, green stuff that'd make a good fence stay. We're going to save down here. Um, all of the dead stuff I'm going to kind of put into a can and hopefully pile that up to cook on. And I'll make sure to have something for, uh, you know, the bucks. And everything else will probably just get mulched. Hey, Lucky, can I interest you in a snack, buddy? I'll just lean it right here on your fence, okay? Oh, there you go. What do you think of that? Does Lucky like it? It appears so. Legend. Be legendary. <laughs> I 
Oh, are you sharing, Lucky? No? Even Vader's getting a little nibble there. Oh, gross. There's not many leaves on those branches because it's December, but that's all right. Still, he's still doing the job of giving, entertaining them. <laughs> Heck yeah, champ. Get in there. It's our time to shoot the star. stays laid out and we are ready for the final phase which is great news this is really a lot of work but this is the uh, most important part it's where he's been escaping and uh, he, he can tell that I'm working on it he knows that he knows that means I want him to stop we we speak the same language me and the dog here it's true ain't that right grump see so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>